Each swim I move into on Raysbury presents its own set of problems, whether that be snags, thick weed, the tactics that I use will evolve and change around each situation that I'm faced with. When you're talking about fishing for the stock, I'm sort of trying to target 20 to 25 fish and separating them from the new stock fish is quite hard. So I looked at it, there's two approaches. I either play the numbers game and catch as many fish as I can, hoping that one of the older fish will make a mistake within them numbers, or I look until I find them and I individually target them. So far, that's the tactic that's worked for me. On the one that I've caught so far, in, I've only done four or five sessions, that came after spotting that fish a week before and I noticed it was using that snag. So I'm going to take this mindset. If I can't find any of the big fish around the edges in the snags, I'm going to fish for numbers. So I play the numbers game when I can't find them. If I can find them, I get on them. The thing is with Raysbury, one swim differs from another. Some of the swims are open water and shallow. Other swims are deep. There's thick weed, there's trees in the water. So my approach towards the angling is constantly changing to the environment of the swim. And here we are, raisbury fish on. Okay, so um, my rod under that bush has just gone. And uh, yeah, it's uh, heart in your mouth stuff. When you hook them fish under that, them trees, they really want a bit of freedom. So it's a case of just hit and hold. But it's, it's away now and hopefully it's gonna be in the net in a minute. It's putting up a good account of itself. But uh, yeah, you never know what you're gonna have on in here. You've got them stockies then you've got them big originals, so um, it's quite nerve-wracking when you're playing them. Some of these fish, as I said, they haven't been out in over a year. He's doing his best to get me in that tree. There we have it. Nice little raisbury mirror to show you. Excellent. Well, there you have it. A uh, Raysbury North carp. What beautiful little fish. And there's a stack of them in here like this. God knows what it's going to be like in five years on this place. But for now, this is the consolation prize to what we're really fishing for. But when they look like this, who cares? Don't believe it. I think I've only gone and caught one of the 18. Get in. Just over 40. Just over 40. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the hell? I don't believe it. Live for the camera. Poor print. 40 pound and an ounce. A Raysbury 40. <laughs> My second one this year. We come down to do a bit of filming. And you know, just to have that little fish was a bonus for the camera. But to get down <laughs> and have one of them, one of the A-team for the camera, I'm absolutely made up. Made up with this fish anyway. Tell you what, I'm one happy man. <laughs> Not saying you'll see every day, a Raysbury 40. Live for the camera. Couldn't ask for more. Thank you, old girl. <laughs> <laughs> 